hello everyone in today's video i will show you guys the best possible start for a new or experienced player on the eu server now this guide applies for both free to play players and players who have purchased founders packs now everything i say from this point can be done with or without the founders pack but having a founders pack will greatly benefit you and give you huge profits now let's talk about which founder pack you can buy to maximize your efficiency now talking about the founder pack we have the crystal gold silver and the bronze packs the best pack i think is the gold one because the crystal is just too costly for most players and while it does provide five day early access you can also get that with the gold founders pack now let's move on to the best possible activity to do after you have your founders pack or you know you just start playing in general with or with or without founders pack if we take a look here we can find all sorts of items that are listed for a really high price like 41 million 36 million 34 etc and so forth now when the first server is launched or you know when the eu server is launched all of these items will be listed for hundreds of millions of silver because there is no stock in the game now this game or the black market in general learns you know runs on a concept of supply and demand so if the supply is low the demand will be higher and when the supply is absolutely zero when the new server launches the demand will be astronomical like hundreds of millions for even 8.1 or 7.2 items like this staff can go for a hundred million in the eu server when it first comes out okay so that's the main reason to get the early access on the founders pack if you do get it you can craft 8.1 or 8.2 items in the black market and get hundreds of millions if not billions of silver before the five day early access ends this will be insane for your character or if you don't have the founders pack you can still do this but you will not see billions in your account that's for sure if you don't have the founders pack you can maybe earn a few hundred million that is still really good by the way being early to a server is massively profitable regardless of founders pack or not with founders pack it will just be a lot more profitable that's all now that we have finished looking at the black market let's move on to another important aspect of this game that is gathering and crafting now for gathering you should focus on stone and leather because stone is very important for the early server as everyone needs a lot of stone for their city plots like everything you see here is built with stone so get a lot of stone early on but i don't recommend completely maxing out stone and going on full stone route because stone will eventually drop off in value as you progress through the game and another important piece of armor or piece of gathering is leather sorry i just misspoke there so let's talk about leather leather is the most used armor in this game now let's just inspect a random five people and see what they're wearing leather armor leather armor leather leather you see cloth so you get the point everyone almost always wears leather armor leather armor is just way too popular in this game and it will always be in high demand now if you craft or gather leather you will make insane profits without even having to do any pvp or even pve in dungeons and somewhat etc now talking about dungeons now let's talk about what you can expect from dungeons in the early game dungeons will be absolute garbage do not ever do dungeons until the second or at least the third week after the launch because all of the loot in this game that is from the black market right and at the start of the game the black market will be completely empty which means there's no loot to go in the set chests of the dungeons with that you will get no loot whatsoever when you do dungeons and open these chests you'll just be disappointed at the dungeons and you'll just waste your time so the first few weeks go full economy like gathering 
crafting islands refining you know all that stuff that's what you will do in the first few weeks now don't think about crafting in very high tiers unless you have a founders pack like if you have a founders pack the first 5 days you have to rush gathering to tier 8 so you get those hundreds of millions of silver from the black market which is risky but then again the profit is very very high so it makes your risk worth it or you can go the opposite route and gank people who are trying to transport to carleon for the black market you can do that too there's already a lot of guilds that have established doing that and another important thing to remember while playing on eu is do not go into avalon roads avalon roads are hard content which cannot be done efficiently when you are on tier 3 tier 2 sets in the early game and those tier 2 tier 3 sets will also be very very expensive at the early game if you lose those sets you cannot afford to buy them back again very fast so just do not do danger dangerous content or risky content at the start unless you have two or three builds in the spare so if you die you can you know bounce back from that instead of just picking up stones all day all right now that we are done with all of the guild activities crafting gathering and all of that stuff now let's talk about the best activity to do as a solo player without doing gathering and crafting now i still think gathering and crafting are important but now let me just say which one is the best activity to do at the start of the server now if you look at this i have 200000 silver i got this 200000 silver in killing open world mobs for less than 1 hour so if you go to a tier 6 zone let me show you what that is in case you are a new player now get your tier 4 sets as soon as you get tier 4 tier 5 sets you will have tier 6 river unlocked now the river level is right here and when you hit tier 6 river that is here you can go into tier 6 red zones which are close to every city like in case of sterling we have one right next to sterling like one zone away like right here so you can go to this zone and kill every mob you see in the open world like go to the zone and you'll find all of these mobs like let's assume this is a enemy you just kill it and it'll drop you 1200 2000 you know something like that thousands of silver for killing one mob which is fairly easy for you if you have a tier 4.1 tier 5 set now why is this so important at the early game at the early game the gold price will be set at 200 or 300 silver for the first few days and when the gold price is this low always buy up the entire gold market like everything you can afford dump it all into the gold like every little bit of silver because as soon as your server gets stable like in a few months or at the end of the first month even your gold price will be stable at 5000 or 6000 for one coin now at the start of the server as we said earlier you are getting one gold for 200 or even 300 silver that means your investment will be returned in 100 fold you see why this is the best path right just kill mobs in open world with 4.1 and 5.1 sets and you will be rewarded for that because you are a early player you started at the start of the server and bought all of the gold the gold value will only increase in time it will never dip even if it does dip it will spike back stronger that's how the gold in this game always was and always will be now let's just look at this so whenever the gold dips in price like right here everyone who has silver will buy up the gold because they know it will go back up and it will go back right you know like this let's look at a longer graph gold was dipping in price and people with silver bought the gold and gold price got back up and slowly it goes down and as soon as it goes down people will buy it it'll go back up that's just the life cycle of gold in this game so as soon as you get your silver buy gold like even if you can only buy one gold buy that just hold on to as much gold as possible if you bought a fonts pack 
and you have a bunch of gold lying around don't sell that gold at least for two months after the server launches now i know that this is hard for most people like they just want instant profit but trust me you will be losing on hundreds of millions of silver if you sell gold early on now that's it for all the important tips the most important tip i can give you is join a big guild now i am currently recruiting members for my guild but that guild is not for new players if you want to join our guild apply on discord and i'll see if you're you know if you have enough stats for it because you know i'm not the leader of the guild i'm just a member i'm just recruiter so if you want to join the guild i am in just apply for it on discord and i will be doing some giveaways for seven day premium codes and to win those giveaways just leave a comment in this video now we'll move on to a giveaway for our previous video okay now let's see who wins the giveaway for our previous video now as i said earlier if you want to participate in premium giveaways just leave any comments on my videos and subscribe to the channel now let's see who win uh how do i pronounce this okay anyway if you want to claim your code hit me up on discord and i'll send it to you guys now that's it for the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like share all that stuff consider becoming a channel member if you want to support the channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye